All right, so it's time to go to London. Um, so this weekend, what we're going to be doing is the Harry Potter play, and we are going to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, hopefully. And yeah, I don't really know what else I want to do. Um, I really want to go to the British Museum, and there's a few art galleries and stuff that I'd really like to see. Um, but apart from that, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> So I made it, I'm in the travel lodge in London. Um, flight was alright, there was a wee bit of turbulence and nothing really much. Um, yeah, so it's about 5 o'clock now and it took a lot longer than expected to actually get here. So what I'm going to do now is go out, grab some food and um, yeah, I might just like go for a wander around and chill out and see what's about. Holy shit, the volumes of people in this place is fucking mental. Like, oh, coming from Dungannon to this, I think there's more people that were trying to get into the subway than there was in the whole of Dungannon. It is absolutely mental. So, um, just walking two streets to that road because the last time that I was here, it took me to the same place and I didn't have to deal with the whole Oxford Street rush. Um, I know that at some point I will have to go back down on Oxford Street, but it'll be near the Christmas market. So hopefully it will be, well, it will be mental, but not as mental as that. Absolutely horrific. Okay, um, lovely Christmas lights up around everyone. And everyone seems to be not in the festive cheer. Um, here we go. So London seems to be a case of just trying to avoid people. Like you do not say hello to anyone, and if you do, you're friggin' mental. So let's see where the night takes us. everyone Harry Potter <clears throat> okay so it has just gotten 10 in the morning and I'm out exploring um, just been to let's go to the Lego store and got absolutely mauled by people so couldn't even record. I'm gonna go to the museum, see what happens there. Uh, it's just so weird to go last weekend before Christmas, how could it not be? Look, it's a Santa run everyone. So we finally arrived in London late last night. Um, we went for a big adventure, 10,000 steps later, we still didn't find what we were looking. Um, but today is Harry Potter day, so. Excited. Yeah, really excited. She's got her Hogwarts scarf on and she had her Hogwarts jammies on last night. Um, I'm a Dobby earring. Oh yeah, Dobby earrings. We got those in the Harry Potter vlog, which you can look back on. Um, yeah, so really excited. Can't wait to actually go and see the play now. Um, <laughs> it's been a whole year. So yeah, we're just in McDonald's. No promo for um, breakfast. happened upon this place called Rosewood. Um, it actually looks really, really cool when you see the Christmas tree. How cool is that? So I just spotted down an alleyway, a wee bit of like greenery and trees, and just right bang centre in the middle of London, you've got a nice park. Uh, so we were saying there that we love the way that the old and the new mix in London. So like you've got really old buildings right next to really new buildings. Um, that's really cool. So one year later, we are finally here in London, ready to go to the theatre to watch the Harry Potter play. Um, yeah, it's 
been a whole year. Can't wait to see it. We're going to go and see number one here during the day and then um, number two later on this evening. And we'll have a three hour gap in between. So I'll update you when we come out. Are you excited, Louise? Yeah. Harry Potter? Smile. End of it all. Alright, what are we saying? I always start it with that. What are we saying? <laughs> We've just finished. <laughs> yeah. So we're just out of the Harry Potter plays. Um, second one and the first one. Both were absolutely amazing. I just wasn't sure how they were going to do all of the special effects. But they managed to absolutely confound us um, with the effect. Is that magic? Can I get it? Yeah. There was only one wee small part where I actually seen um, how it was done. But I didn't want to spot it for days. Um, so it was really, really cool. We are now in Leicester Square. So we're going to do some Christmas market shopping. Just over there. And yeah, um, after that we'll probably just go back to the hotel. <laughs> Anything to add, Louise? Usually talking over the top of me? I want to go in Okay. So what we're looking at here is actually Piccadilly Circus. Um, London's answer to Times Square. Focus. There we go. Whee! So you can see the lights. It's really cool. And the underground. Right, when we get to that roundabout there, we need to move. It's day four for me in London now. Um, seen and done an awful lot. Went to the British Museum, went to Harry Potter, play it one and two. And now I'm currently just walking the weeds back to her hotel. Or no, back to Victoria Station. So we've stopped off at Trafalgar Square. And we just stopped in to say hi to the big Christmas tree over there that was donated from Norway. It's absolutely beautiful. Really tall. And then we've got Nelson's column. There. How cool is that? So Louise, what did you think of Harry Potter then last night? Amazing. Like the best thing So Louise, what did you think of Harry Potter last night? Oh no, hold on. Come on. I'll put it in the background. So Louise, what did you think of Harry Potter last night then? It was really good, probably the best thing I've ever seen in the It was, because I'd read the book before, so I knew what was going to happen, but it was just so different than after just reading the book. It was really good. I thought the special effects were absolutely amazing, um, like we said last night. So, um, this is probably it for London. Um, until next time, Louise. Until Manchester. Track reunions up next, guys. Watch this day. Every time that I'm in London, I have to come and I have to say hello to the Queen. Yes, because she's my faves. So, we're just walking up the mile now. And uh, if we look. There she is. How cool is that? Buckingham Palace. For those that don't know then, and on every vlog I point this out, so we have um, Queen Vic there, sitting nice and proud. And then our Buckingham Palace, the Queen lives in that corner, um, I found that out. So there we go, Buckingham Palace. Thanks for joining me on my adventure and hopefully I will see you all soon.